Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting. And as you know, if you're a viewer of mine, and if you're not, then please subscribe. I love my pickled onions, so I get a lot of these glass jars. And I want to upcycle this into a vase. And that's lovely and clean and sparkly clean now. Before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is cover this whole jar in brown paper. This is the brown paper I get from Amazon. I don't buy it from Amazon. It comes in packages and things. Now, I want to cover this whole jar in the paper right up to the very edge of that lid. I'm not going to use the lid again, so I'm not too worried about that. And I am going to finish this jar off around that lid with something else that will make it nice and waterproof. I'm using my PVA glue or white glue in a 50-50 mix, water and glue. Most of this paper isn't going to get seen anyway, but it is really helpful to put it on. But this jar is all nice and dry now, as you can see. It didn't take long to dry at all, and that is going to be on there permanently. And it also gives me something that I can draw on, because I'm going to build up onto this, and I want to make a pattern going round, but no real specific pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my pattern out. Rough, it's not going to be an equal pattern. I've drawn my pattern on, and I've gone over it with a black marker, really, so it can show up a little bit more on camera. It's just a random pattern. I just drew some shapes. I love doing little circles and things and like that to fill in areas. If you didn't see me make this white clay, then the recipe is on my website, and I will link the video. So I'm going to need some water, and that will help me smooth out some bits, although I will be putting texture in it as well and I've found the easiest way to do this is by working down the jar that way I'm not going to keep touching all the bit that I've already done and once they're dry and it won't matter anyway and I push it on firmly and then if I want to smooth it out I can smooth it out but I don't want it looking perfect I'm not going for perfect circles I'm not going for completely smooth circles. I want it to look a bit rustic. Similar to that going all the way down. Now we're not going to do the larger pieces. Start it here. Work part the way down the jar. This is going to stick to this jar really really well because we've already covered it in this paper so it's going to stick to this paper. Oh and this stuff is so lovely to work with. Then I might go a little bit deeper in this place here. These lines are just for my guide and I'm not going to go any further than that on it because I will end up putting my hand in it when I'm doing the rest because I can add to this as I'm going along anyway. And, and then some of these I might decide I'm going to make that nice and smooth. Go over it with my finger as long as my finger's wet and smooth that out completely. You know, my dog's in the background because they're being fed. Well I've finished putting all that on now and as it's been probably about an hour since I started the first ones, if I wanted to, now these are firmed up look. I could go through this and really give it a good smoothing out. It wouldn't take too much either. Look how quickly that is smoothing out on there. I want it to look a bit battered. So what I'm going to do now is leave this to dry overnight and then I'll do the finishing touches to it. This is all dry now. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Gone lovely and hard. I need to make this top bit waterproof because if you're going to fill it with water and put flowers in it, then it's going to get under this paper and it may destroy it. So what I've got is some clear silicon. All I'm going to do is push a little bit out like that. And with my fingers, just squeeze a little bit all the way around to fill the edge. And you're not going to see this once it's finished and once I'm happy that whole edge is sealed then I'm going to take a little bit on my fingers go around this edge as well now this will paint over so I'm not worried about that but then I'll give this a couple of hours to cure up completely before I start to paint it but now that first coat is touch dry and it's not solid because really paint needs about 24 hours to go solid but it's touch dry I'm going to go over it now with the Arteza iridescent black I'm going to paint it all over with this and the reason I put the black coat on first is it makes this a lot more deep. It gives it a really deep coat, but also it saves you on the more expensive Arteza paint. So again, make sure that you're getting into all the nooks and the crannies and covering up all that lovely base coat of black. That's now touch dry with the shiny coat on of the Arteza. And in itself, that looks quite nice. But what I'm going to put on there now is a dry brush of some gold acrylic. Really brighten this up. Put it on my brush and then 
dry brush over it and all of a sudden starts to transform again all those bits are starting to highlight this is why i wanted the texture on it because when you dry brush in it catches on all that texture and i think looks really nice so i'm now gonna leave that like that i'm quite happy with how that covered and now I'll let that dry and then I'll do the next coat. This is all nice and dry now and ready to have its glaze on before I varnish. I'm going to be using the Dragonfly glaze, the green, gold and red shift. I think that will finish off that vase really well. It'll highlight those gold areas. It'll also give a lovely finish to the darker areas. You don't need much of this. Don't put it on too thick because if you do, then it tends to dry a little bit more clumpy. So go over it with any glazes like this really thinly. And once it's dry, you'll be able to see if you've got any areas that you need to redo. What I'm going to do once this is dry is give this a coat of an acrylic varnish. And then once that's all done, I'll show you what it looks like completely finished. This is all finished now and I'm really pleased with it. Now, it might not be what you call conventionally pretty, but that's not what I was after. I was after something that was a little bit quirky and a little bit fun and I think with the right flowers in this or something coming out of it I think it's gonna look amazing <laughs> let me know what you think of it in the comments below please boot that like button don't forget if you'd like to support this channel or get hold of anything that I've used today then the link for that can be found in the description below I'm going to be making some flowers I think to put in here that will suit it. It is nice and waterproof around here, but I think some nice homemade flowers will look excellent in there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care, enjoy your crafting. Bye.